Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minute. Every now and then, I'm helping somebody, and I stumble upon something I didn't know about, and I'm like, oh, that is so cool. I'll have to do a Monday Minute about this. So let's get started. I've done tons of tutorials about how to create submodel groups and how to take all of this and put it in it, you know, select all, right click, and go over to the add to existing groups or create a group. And of course, you can add this to existing groups and that's great. But did you know, you can also click in another area to do some pretty cool stuff. And here's what I'm gonna show you. We have an all pixels group and I just created an all pixels no yard. Certainly some of the larger X lights layouts may have a lot of models throughout and it, it can be difficult certainly in the 3d world by holding down the shift to grab everything right or you might have to put it into 2d but but when you do that it might not be as easy to see what you're really working with let's say we want to create an all pixels no yard group did you know that you could right click in this box right here we're used to using this the old school way where we could uh, push over items but you can also right click copy from and choose a group to copy everything that's in that group into your new group so let's copy all pixels group we've done it boom looks good and now what we can do things that we don't want to have in there if we uh, don't want anything that's in the yard we can get rid of that so all pixels no yard so if i get rid of oh arches let's do this bye let's get rid of our candy canes where did our candy canes go well i bet you they're in here somewhere window frames oh there they are candy canes group oh goodness no 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 and it looks like we may still have one arch get rid of that and probably the mega tree we'll get rid of and uh, probably uh, the star wherever it may be <laughs> apparently I didn't name these yes I did yes I did here we go okay so that's pretty quick you click save and you're done so where this was a real use case scenario for me was I was helping a person uh, troubleshoot some effects on a Gilbert engineering train. Looks like I took this out and I should have. And there were several versions uh, of submodel groups that he had created trying to figure out, well, let me try a version, see if that works better the way it's set up. And once we figured out what was going on, he no longer needed these other groups. So we we're able to copy from those groups and in back into the main group and it worked out great and it was super fast. So again, you can create any group or be in an existing group right click and you can copy from any of the other groups you want so let's say you had another group of arches that were on a right side here that you didn't have in there you could copy from that group and put it all in one group maybe change the name of the group to arches all whatever might work for your situation i thought it was pretty cool that you could right click in here and copy from all right I hope that's been helpful for you. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It certainly helps. This has been Monday Minute. See ya.